A denial of service attack occurs when legitimate users are unable to access information system, device or network resources due to the action of a malicious cyber threat. So, so this service affected may include email, website, online accounts like banking or other services that rely on the affected computer or network. A denial of service condition is accomplished by flooding the target host or network with traffic until the target cannot respond or simply crashes, preventing access for legitimate users. DOS attacks can cost an organization both time and money while their resources and services are inaccessible. So what are the common denial of service attack? There are many different methods of carrying out a DOS attack. The most common method of attack occurs when an attacker flood a network server with traffic. So in this type of de de denial of service attack or DOS attack, the attacker sends several requests to the target server overloading it with traffic and these services requested are illegitimate and have fabricated return addresses which mislead the server when, when it tries to authenticate the request. As the junk requester are Proceed constantly in server, the server will overwhelmed, which causes a DOS condition to legitimate request. So, the first one is in a smart attack, the attacker say in internal internet control message protocol burst cost the package to a number of hosts within a spoke source network protocol, which means IP addresses that belongs to the target machine. The recipient of this issue package then will respond and the target host will be flooded with these responses. A SYN flood occurs when an attacker sends a request to the connect and then connect to the target server but does not complete the connection through. So what is known is that there, there is a three-way connection or three-way handshake, a method that used in a transmission protocol which means TCP or IP network to create a connection between a local host or client server. The incomplete handshake leaves the connected port to an occupied status and unavailable for the further request. An attacker will continue to send requests saturating all open ports so that the legitimate users cannot connect. Individual networks may be affected by DOS attacks without being directly targeted. So if the networks are being service which means ISP, if the ISP or cloud service provider has been targeted and attacked, the network will also experience a loss of service. So let's talk about example of denial of service attack. So first one is ACK scan or CN scan or FIN scan. So these techniques use similar approaches to uh, check whether ports of the targets are open that can be exploited and they also use to gather information as well as deny services. For example, the ACK scan technique is used to attacker to gather information about the target's firewall or firewall or access control list configuration. It figures or it features a scan via a target with the acknowledgement flag which is mean ACK flag that seeks to identify host and post that are filtered or cannot be scanned in another way. Attacker watch the response from the router to understand the setup. The type of information that can be gleaned from this is uh, particularly when combined with the SYN scan. As the target firewall or target type of firewall is a rule set and what kind of packets can get through the host. So at the same time while collecting vulnerability information via a scan, the attacker may also flood a router's open UDP or TCP port to make it crash by initiating a connection attempt but not acknowledging the server response from the open port. Then the attacker can keep the open port open and continuously flood the server with new request which is also known as scene flood. The second one is SMARF. So in a SMARF attack, the malicious party will target a network whose configuration allow package to be sent to all services or 
host on the network at once. This is accomplished by sending the ICMP packets to the IP broadcast, IP broadcast addresses of the network whereby they reach the all computers. These packets will have as many as sources as the IP address on the target. So by default, the device of the network will then respond to the packet by replying to the spoof source address. This will also be flood the target machine with traffic and overload it or shut it down completely. There are few differences between snarf and what we know as a ICMP flood or ping of death. And scene flood, third one, also known as hub open attack. This is a technique that exploits the TCP or IP three way handshake. During a scene flood, an attacker repeatedly sends connection requests like scene packets to all ports on the server. Typically, a server then responds with a synchronization acknowledgement packet or sync or act packet from every port that is open. If a port is closed, it will respond to an or reset a RST packet. Usually, a client responds to scene or act packets with an acknowledgement packet during a handshake. This is done to confirm that this is or it has received the server sync or act and then communicate between them that can be comments. However, during a scene plot, attackers use fake ID addresses to send the initial sync packets. As a result, the server never gets a response to its scene or act packets and its ports remain open and it cannot reset them. Before the connection times out, further sync packets are sent to those ports prompting the server to keep them open and attempt to establish a connection. This is because ports are saturated with these requests leading to a denial of service. Teardrop The teardrop attack exploits a vulnerability associated with the older system and TCP or IP implementation with packets that are very large. For intermediary system like router, the IP specification allow packets fragmentation then afterward fragmentation are resembled. However, a TCP IP fragmentation resembly bug can be found in many older system. The bug consists of their inability to resemble the packets whose offset field overlap. Attackers then exploit their bug by launching a teardrop attack by sending packets with a overlapping and oversized payloads, making it impossible for the receiver to get the system to assemble them or ultimately leading them to a crash. Also known as ARP spoofing or ARP attack, this technique involves sending ARP messages over a network to a link attacker MAC addresses to the IP addresses of its target. When this is executed successfully, the traffic intended to lead the target which is instead to receive by the attacker, then which leads to a denial of service. These types of attack can only be performed on a local area that use ARS. And the last one is Fraggle attack. The Fraggle attack also known as UDV flood uses the same approach as the SMARF, up, SMARF attack by exploiting a vulnerability associated with the sending traffic to the IP broadcast address of the target such as router. The main difference is that it uses a UDP traffic to flood a router or service instead of ICMP. The effect is to spoof the IP address of the source then get the request and then direct to the traffic from the network back to the router therefore then it flooded all of it. Both the flagger, or fraggle and the smart target attack have largely been left behind as router no longer forward packets sent to their broadcast addresses. So that's all about uh, denial of service as example on a wireless network.